Hello, welcome, guten tag. Uh, quick video today. The uh, I'm preparing the shelves for uh, the thing, and part of that I, I have to glue up some uh, some boards into uh, into the shelves and cut them down to, to length. Uh, so I have, I have a number of boards because mine are all super narrow, or at least the ones I would use for this part of it. So cutting them down, uh, one, you can go along, you can measure each one and then move on. Uh, some people like to take, you know, cut off the first one and then measure from there. Um, I've had mixed success with that in the past. So one thing that I've, um, I've started doing is I will go along and I will mark my boards to the length they are to be. Uh, and then I cut them just shy of the line. So that way this, you know, basically where the next board starts that is even increments, and then I always factor factor that in. Uh, so this is 29 inches, and then I cut um, just short of 29 inches, so it'd be what, 28 and 7 eighths or whatever. Um, and so also with this, I have a number of boards to cut up. I have one, two, three, four boards to cut. So I'm trying this time to, so initially I, I rough cut them a little long, and then I'll come along, glue them up, uh, and then I'll trim them down to the proper length. Um, so I'm also trying with that is, uh, it's called gang cutting, where you put multiple boards in and you cut them all at once. So I've done it in the past with dovetails uh, and it usually works pretty well. I have really tried it with this setup here. So let's get started. So like I said, you measure, so I, I, I've got this one measured out to 29 and this is what, 58 and then I got another one, another 29 inches down the board. And so I just transfer the marks around and we'll get started. As you can see, so here's, here's the line. I'm gonna start on this side of the line, so on the short side. And then you just start your cut. And when you cut with a hand saw, you want a real light pressure at first. Almost let the, you wanna control the saw so it doesn't skate all over the place. But really that's all you're doing, just letting the saw, letting the saw do the work. I like to switch up my arm about halfway through. Basically, once the cut is established and this isn't going anywhere, just to get exercise on both sides. There. Worked pretty good. Pretty good now. Let's check ourselves for square. Check ourselves for square here. Not that it really matters, but it's just always a good test. Yeah, let's go to this side. This side's planed. That's not too bad. Let's see how can you guys see that very well? Not too bad. You get a little high in one spot. That's all right. Left to right. Oh, look at that. Dead on. So. See here, this measurement, if you're squared this way, that means you're holding your saw straight across. Um, if you're not square this way, that means your saw is either wandering in the cut or you're crooked. So, and then I would just kind of continue that down. So now this board is, like I said, 28 and 7 eighths or whatever. And then the next board will be 27 and 7 eighths. Uh, my final measurement is going to be 27 and 3 quarters, so i uh, got a little room to square up everything. All right, well, thank you for watching. Have a good day.